with oval racing, if you haven't got any experience in it, you have to learn yeah. what kind of changes you make and then sort of what impact they have. Track racing, to some extent, is very forgiving. So if you make a toe change, for example, you can be a little bit out and the car is relatively forgiving. The driver can adapt to it quite quickly. But with oval racing, if you get that slightly wrong, the impact of that for a driver is huge on an oval. It's almost amplified way more. That that knowledge pool, that gaining of that information, knowing what to do, it doesn't just happen. You can't read a book. You can't just simulate it. It's not That's not how it works. You have to be there kind of adapting to it and learning it. Driver confidence in any racing series is key. In oval racing, it is so important. If a driver feels the car and can, it's predictable, it's confidence inspiring, you get the lap time and the speed from it. If they are not in that window, you can be so slow. 